Hello everybody, all my very dear audio friends around the world. It's me, Paul. And yes, I am back. Like really, back after a month of break. Why did I take a break? Well, I had so much stuff to do in the studio, so many clients and projects that I hardly knew my name, as we say in Polish. And it was actually exhausting and I'm happy, really happy that it's all over somehow. At least it's easier for me and I can get back to YouTubing. I also believe that taking a break from YouTube is good because, well, you're grabbing some distance, you're refreshing your mind and you're coming up with new ideas and like intense professional work um, gives me new experience that I can share with you as my real life stuff, yo. And today we're gonna talk about Cedar Audio. Have you ever heard of them? I remember times when the only real denoising was by Cedar Audio. Then, then some other denoisers were available like Isotope RX or, or Waves or whatever, but Cedar Audio was the king for years and there were no signs it could ever change. But it did because the era of AI machine learning denoisers came and Clarity came, Goyo denoiser came, Aiken Digital, Denoiser came. Yes, I did a video about all of these. And now Cedar Audio is promising us a breakthrough and a real denoiser of the 21st century. It's called Voice X. And well, this is Cedar Audio. So will they be the king again with their new product? I have to check it out today for you. Let's go. feels so cool to be here again with the mic with some stuff to review for you. I have installed Cedar Audio Voice X, looks like this. Very simple controls, just voice level and noise level. So a typical AI machine learning voice separation plugin. Also, I used a session from my previous video about denoising plugins by Waves and Aiken that I already mentioned. You'll find this video here. And, well, should we remind ourselves the results we got from Waves and Aiken first, maybe? And today I'm starting here because I'm going to move around the studio, actually. Today is the first episode of my new mini-series. Let's call it, I'm going to simply call it Let's Produce, and that's going to be a full tutorial of producing a Yes, and now comes Cedar Audio, my friends. And I can't actually imagine denoising this even better because the original sounded like this. And today I'm starting here because I'm going to move around the studio, actually. Today is the first... Yes, it is bad. Let's find out what voice acts is capable of. And today I'm starting here because I'm going to move around the studio, actually. Today is the first episode of my new mini-series. Let's call it, I'm going to simply call it Let's Produce, and that's going to be a full tutorial of producing a... Okay, so probably I should go fully denoising here, and, and let's listen to the quality, to the result. And today I'm starting here because I'm going to move around the studio, actually. Today is the first episode of my new mini-series. Let's call it, I'm going to simply call it Let's Produce, and that's going to be a full tutorial of producing a... I have heard artifacts. Definitely. I'm going to listen to the fir first part again. And today I'm starting here because I'm going to move around the studio, actually. Today is the first episode of my new mini-series. Yeah. And today I'm starting here because I'm going to move around the studio, actually. Today is the first episode of my new mini-series. Mm. I know it's Cedar Audio. I... Never knew I'm going to be in a position to criticize anything from Cedar Audio. Uh, and before I do it, I want to listen to this very chunk. Episode of my new mini-series. Episode of my new mini-series. 
episode of my new mini series. Episode of my new mini series. Yes, it performs worse than the previous two I tested out for you, and um, I'm in a deep shock. I didn't know that my first vid after my comeback, one month absence. What's the price tag again? Over a thousand and one hundred dollars, and it's a no from me as for now. It did not leave the competition behind. And actually, it does not sound same good. It left me some artifacts that I really don't like. Before, of course, I call any of my results final, because they are far from final. Let's take a look at the second, maybe, example. Yo, what you doing over there, man? Come get this, come help me with this shit. Yo, what you doing over there, man? Come get this, come help me with this shit. Yo, yo what you doing over there, man? Come get this, come help me with this shit. Yo, yo what you doing over there, man? Come get this, come help me with this shit. Yo, what you doing over there, man? Come get this, come help me with this shit. Yo, yo what you doing over there, man? Come get this, come help me with this shit. Yo, Aiken is my favorite here easily because it's preserves sibilants and leaves least artifacts like this grainy noise. And again, cedar is a bit below waves for me in this example. Let's listen to a different part. Kenneth, you taking a piss? Yo, first, what's up with all this Henny? Kenneth, you taking a piss? Yo, first, what's up with all this Henny? Kenneth, you taking a piss? Yo, first, what's up with all this Henny? Again, it's grainy and it's kind of noisy. I don't know. Hey, Jen, where's the water? I don't know the river. No, no, no. I need to be half a drain. Yo, 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 look, look. Yeah, there are issues with uh, intelligibility of, of, of voices here. I don't know. Hey, Jen, where's the water? I don't know. I need to be yeah. hydrated. Same here. It's a deep trade-off between quality and noise level, let's say. What about cedar? I don't hey, know. Jen, where's the water? I don't know. I need to be hydrated. Yeah, maybe uh, the speech is a bit better heard, audible, but I can retweak my icon, for example. Yeah. Now they are very comparable, but again, this is the maximum I can squeeze from voice X. And does it sound um, better than my favorite, Aiken? No, it doesn't. And I have to be frank about it. I sometimes hate it because I am not going to wage a war against Cedar Audio. Who am I to do this? But I'm sorry, Cedar Audio. <sighs> I had no idea it's going to come out like this. Um, anyway, what's the dialogue extract? Extract dialogue, sorry. Extract dialogue is a hundred dollars. It's more than ti 10 times cheaper than, uh, than Cedar. And again, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to do the performance test. Do you remember? Before my CPU chokes, I'm going to double as many Aiken Digitals as possible, because maybe the performance is the thing with uh, Cedar Audio. So I have 16 instances. One hundred eighteen tracks is the maximum I squeezed out of Aiken Digital. I think it's very comparable to the previous test, which was probably one hundred eighteen or sixteen. Maybe I don't really remember, but it was very comparable. Let's go with Cedar. Let's start with eight. Uh, 
Okay, here are my tracks. Here's my SEO. What? Oh, wow. Eight tracks is too much. Okay. Okay, so six and seven. No, I'm getting drops. One hundred eighteen tracks versus six tracks. I'm able to run almost twenty times more extract dialogue by Aiken than Cedar Audio. This is the performance. Guys, I don't want to, but I have to sum the things up here. Mm -hmm. These are my new espresso cups in the studio because I had to take a short break before this final stage of the vid because I asked myself, what did Cedar Audio guys were thinking when they were doing this? This is a top-notch technological company. I would not like to say from the past, but these are really more than competent guys. And they absolutely are aware that there are things like Clarity VX, Goyo, um, or Aiken Digital Extra Dialogue. Especially Aiken Digital is cool because it sounds great and it performs exceptionally well. I can run many instances on my film dialogue, whatever project, while Cedar doesn't give me better results. Slightly worse, more noisy, I would say. And I'm able to run almost 20 times less of it than I can do with Aiken Digital. Frankly, it's very hard for me to understand what Cedar Audio tried to achieve here and sell it for a thousand and one hundred bucks. 20 times less performance, let's say 20% less denoising, 15, 10 times the price. No, my friends, it's not gonna pass. I don't like it. Sorry to say this, but I'm honest. Also honest and shocked like hell, because this is still Cedar Audio. Guys, anyway, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned anything new today, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.